It's a new month, so that means new red light therapy news. In this wrap up, we're looking at everything from new torches to massive wall panels. I've got articles to share on dosing, Alzheimer's, the history of red light therapy, and a lot more. This month's study looks at a red light therapy mask. Plus, I have a heap of new content and a ton of uh, announcements and discount codes and just some exciting things that are happening here on the channel and elsewhere. So let's get straight into it with new products. Okay, so first up, Mito Red Light. These guys are going crazy. I mean, they've got so many products now. It used to just be their panels. Now they've got laser helmets. They've got portable devices. They've got wraps. Now they've got this awesome commercial premier panel. To be honest, this thing looks pretty epic. Uh, I'd love to test it myself. It is obviously marketed more towards the commercial user. It's quite expensive, six, seven thousand dollars but it is one massive all-in-one red light therapy panel. It's got over a thousand LEDs and it does look like it's a relatively new design, especially with that control panel. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see some of those features flow through into their consumer level panels. As always, any developments like that will be covered here first, so be sure to subscribe. Now, Mito Red have also come out with a new red light therapy bed. It's quite a unique product here because effectively it's just two large panels. Uh, the base panel you're lying on, the top one is on a stand, but it's rather well priced, 3,200 LEDs, and it comes out to about $23,000. Now, of course, both of the products I've just mentioned are more for the commercial market, but for those people with a big budget, you may be considering them yourself. If you are, then be sure to use discount code Alex. It will save you a little bit on these uh, rather high prices, but remember they're high because you're getting a lot of light here. Now, on the other side of the size spectrum, we have some new products from LightPath LED. The first one is actually their torch. Mine just arrived yesterday. It's pretty neat. Uh, it's actually quite powerful. It has some cool features in it as well. And I know LightPath LED are about to launch their new revamped diesel line. I'm actually speaking to Scott Kennedy, the founder of LightPath LED next week. We're gonna take a deep dive into this new product range, but also some new science and research he's been diving into. So expect to see that interview and of course videos on the new LightPath LED diesel range here on my YouTube channel in the coming weeks. Finally, we have Infredi and they've launched their new Pro Line. So the new Pro Line is rather unique because they're running six watt LEDs. Uh, I haven't seen that before. I think the most we've seen was about five watt LEDs. Of course, the wattage doesn't really matter. It's all about how much light is being emitted. You could have a six watt LED just putting out one watt of light, for instance. So until I get one of these panels, I don't really know how much more power you're getting, but it is quite an interesting change. And the timing is great as well, because in a couple of months, I will be doing my end of year comparison series. So we're gonna have new panels from a lot of companies, including Infrared here, that will be featured in that comparison series. So I'm excited, and I know a lot of you guys are eagerly waiting that as well. Now, I know this isn't a new product as such, but in the last about 10 days, I've had a bunch of new discount codes being given to me from various red light therapy companies. Now, whenever I get given a new code to share with you guys, I publish it in our Facebook group. So I'll put a link to that below. If you're not in there, go jump in there. Uh, it's a pretty active community just discussing all things red light therapy. Plus, like I said, when I get new promos or deals, I'm sharing it in there as well. And if you are shopping for a red light therapy panel, then be sure to head over to Light Therapy Insiders. There we have the shopping tool so you can sort and compare lots of panels plus the deals and discount page. So you can go in there and see all the best deals and discounts for any red light therapy company. Speaking of that website, I know I promoted it last month and it hasn't quite been published yet. I'm hoping by the time this video goes out, it will be live. If not, I do apologize. We're working super fast trying to get it going. It's gonna be a massive site. I'm, I'm super excited to get it out. And uh, I know you guys are gonna love it as well. So I'm trying to get it out in time for this video, fingers crossed. So an example of some of these companies that have shared discount codes with me now, we have Best Cool, we have Chroma, we have Block Blue Light. They've given us a 15% discount code, which is massive. Uh, Huga Health and Infrared now have 10% discount codes. I think the codes for all of those companies are discount code Alex. Uh, Platinum LED, remember they've stopped using discount codes and now you have to order through a discount link. And then the 5% discount is automatically applied. All links are below. Okay, now for new articles. So first up, Rouge have published about 10 new articles in the last few weeks. Some of them are quite unique. One of them is on red light therapy and nerve health. Another one is red light therapy and itchy skin. Of course, I'll put links to all the articles and resources I've mentioned in this video all down below. Platinum LED have published an article looking at red light therapy panels that have the ability to select different wavelengths. Typically with panels, we see wavelengths grouped together in the red light range and then the near infrared light range. I wouldn't be surprised if one day we can go even further and say you have two near infrared wavelengths, 810 and 850, 
and to be able to even select between them. That would be pretty cool. And I know a lot of people have already asked about this feature. Gimbred have put out two new articles. One of them is on hyperpigmentation and another one is on dosing and how 100 milliwatts over centimeter squared number that is often touted on red light therapy websites doesn't really have much support to back it up. I actually reached out to Andrew Latour from Gimbered to see if he wanted to come on the show to talk about dosing because he has done a lot of research on this and it's something that I'm still confused on and every time I speak to other experts, I never get a clear answer as well. So fingers crossed he'll accept that invite and it'll be great to have him on the show. Luminos Red shared an article saying how they were featured in Forbes magazine. What's interesting here is Mito Red Light recently shared an Instagram post saying how they were featured in Owl Fashion magazine. Now both of these publications are very mainstream. I think it's really exciting because it's showing to me that red light therapy is becoming more known and accepted in the mainstream. And on top of that, we have these really passionate, credible red light therapy companies getting exposure through these platforms. Honestly, I expect red light therapy to just blow up in the coming years. More and more people are gonna hear about it, try it, notice the benefits, wanna learn more about the products, the science, all that good stuff. So you right now watching this in 2023 are technically you're an early adopter, you're a pioneer. So congratulations, welcome to the space. And I'm sure it's only gonna get bigger and bolder and more exciting with new products and new research and new cool things as the years go by. All right, back to the article. So Kineon have just released an article on the history of red light therapy. It's quite a good read and I do recommend checking that out. Current Body have an article looking at the difference between LEDs and lasers when it comes to hair regrowth. I'm actually experimenting with the Current Body hair regrowth device. I'll have my review up soon on that. Vlight have published an article on photobiomodulation and Alzheimer's. And speaking of Alzheimer's, I do want to give a shout out to Dr. Randy Beck. He is a neuroscientist using photobiomodulation. His new YouTube channel is live. It is called Better Brainwave. And I'll put a link to that below. Of course, I did recently interview Dr. Randy Beck. So check that interview out if you haven't heard it. Okay, so this month's new science article is actually a bit of a new product and a science article. Now, the scientific article looked at a new product. It's an LED mask from French company Dior. You're probably familiar with them. They're massive in the fashion and beauty space. Recently, they actually launched an LED face mask. I wasn't even aware of it until I saw the study. Now, the mask itself is extremely expensive. I think it's about 4,000 euros, which is kind of insane, to be honest. But hey, you're probably paying a lot for the brand. Anyway. This study looked at how effective their mask was on skin rejuvenation, anti-aging benefits, all that good stuff we know about red light therapy. Okay, so the experiment was simple. 20 Caucasian women were using this Dior LED mask. They were using it a couple times a week for three months. Now, what's really cool is the researchers had some pretty advanced techniques to measure fine lines, wrinkles, skin health, all that cool stuff. I'll put a link to the full study so you can go check it out below, but I didn't even know some of these things were possible. They were measuring depth of wrinkles, they were measuring skin elasticity, they were measuring skin dermis density through ultrasound, they measured skin firmness and smoothness, skin complexity, even pore sizes. Like I said, this stuff's right up there in terms of skin health. It's better than just a visual experiment like I did in my uh, Omnilux mask. I should have hired these guys to do my before and after test. Anyway, back to the research. So after a couple months, they found that, yeah, there were noticeable improvements across various skin metrics. Every single one of the 20 females noticed an improvement of skin quality. It doesn't really surprise me as the evidence is rock solid on red light therapy and skin health. And it is pretty cool to see such a study like this being published because this is a lot more accurate and credible than, say, a before and after photo shoot, something that we see a lot on YouTube. And I'll put my hand up. I'm one of those people. So what does this mean for you? If you want to see improved skin health, do you need to go out and buy this Dior 4,000 euro LED mask? Well, not necessarily. The mask itself is emitting around 630 to 635 nanometer red light, a pretty common red light wavelength. And they even share the dosing and the radiance figures. It was emitting about 21 milliwatts over centimeter squared, which is nothing extraordinary. You're easily going to get this in some other masks. You're going to get this even from red light therapy panels. So you can definitely save some money and get another option and pretty much do the same treatment as what these guys did. I may actually do another video dedicated to this study and this product. So be sure to hit subscribe if you want to check that out in the next few weeks. Okay, so this month's question is, Alex, what happens if I'm using red light therapy panels consistently and then I stop all of a sudden for say a month? Do all the benefits disappear immediately? Now, what's quite interesting is in that study I was just talking about, 
It was actually a comment in there in the conclusion saying that the skin benefits lasted up to a month after they stopped using the red light therapy masks. So hopefully that statement alone is going to help answer this question. Remember that's looking specifically at skin benefits, not necessarily joint health and all that other thing. Now I actually have some personal experience on this topic. So recently I did a video where I stopped all red light therapy treatments for about four weeks. What I noticed was that a few pain points that I have, including high gun points and also a lower back problem, I started to get regular pain coming back, things that I hadn't really felt for years after using red light therapy. Those things actually came back into my life. Uh, my gym performance and recovery wasn't quite as good as it used to be, but this wasn't a big effect. And also I noticed I just didn't feel as good, as upbeat, as energetic, I guess. What's interesting is this was over a summer break where I wasn't even training and stuff as well. So there were a few variables at play, but definitely the pain points in my gums and some old injuries, they were quite pronounced after a few weeks of no red light therapy. Now, if you want to learn more about my experiences, I'll put a link to that full video so you can go check it out. Also, recently I spoke to James Carroll from Thor Laser. In that interview, he talked about how he believes the benefits of red light therapy accumulate over the years, maybe even decades. He thinks that if you go for, say, a week-long holiday and don't use any red light therapy, you don't suddenly lose all of those great benefits you've built up. Though him and I do think that regular use is probably best. But let's say you're going on a holiday and you can't take your panel. Maybe it's a good idea just to have a break. See how you go. I've actually been doing a lot of travel lately, and what I do when I'm traveling is just throw in a small device, such as a Mito Mobile Flex or the Kineon Move Plus Pros. Those are actually really good for spot treatment. Well, recently I just picked up the Ironforge from Chroma and that thing is a monster in terms of power output so I may actually travel with that for future trips. With the smaller devices of course you're not getting a full body treatment but you can hit those pain points you know those sensitive teeth or if you've got an injury or if you just want to get a little bit of red light therapy for the systemic benefits. Okay so lots has been happening in the last few weeks on the YouTube channel in fact it's probably been my biggest month since I've started this channel. Now remember I publish three videos a week so that's a lot of videos and if you haven't seen them all here were some of the most popular ones. I had a video titled how big of a panel do you need this is where I look at the light coverage across my Biomax quad 900 setup. It had some interesting insights and if you're looking for optimal light coverage Go check that video out. I had the article on systemic benefits of red light therapy that I just mentioned. We also looked at the benefits of red light therapy, both from a scientific point of view and also case studies. So I'll link to both of those videos as they have been extremely popular. I've reviewed the Block Blue Light Mega Panel. I spoke to Dr. Randy Beck, a neuroscientist, on his use of photobiomodulation. I looked at light penetration, which was quite a fascinating video on light going through clothing. And I did a video on how to use red light therapy. Now what's coming out in the next few weeks? Well, I just reviewed two new panels. One of them is a Chinese brand that are selling direct to consumer. Another one is the Red Therapy Red Rush 840. So expect to see those reviews out soon. I have my first look at the Dermalux Flex MD. This is quite an expensive product. My wife is actually trying this for a before and after test. So hang around to see the results from that. I have my Sonomax Pro review. I have some videos looking at the best red light therapy products in certain countries and certain regions plus my reviews on the new light path led diesel range and that's just a select few videos otherwise i'll be here all night so anyway be sure to hit subscribe there's a lot happening on the channel and it's not just the channel like i said before that light therapy is inside a website hopefully is live now if it's not live now i do apologize it won't be far away so yeah just just keep checking it maybe once a week that website is going to be awesome we've got some great content coming out there we've got my new shopping tool we've got the deals and discount page we're going to have some wavelength resources in there. It's going to all be there. It's going to be massive. In the meantime, though, definitely jump in my Facebook group. That's the Light Therapy Insiders Facebook group. I'm in there. Bart's in there. It's a very active and really passionate group of people uh, all, all geeking out on red light therapy. So even if you're not into the technical stuff, jump in there, say hi, tell us what you're using or ask any questions or just sit back and uh, listen in and learn from the others. So hopefully I'll see you in there. In the meantime, though, Check out this video, it was my most viewed video in the last few weeks, so if you missed it, go see what other people were raving about.